Hello and welcome to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. In fact, this is literally the episode na weza sema tumeka nyama mingi sana. Na juwa the Kenya Meat Commission has been transferred from the Ministry of Agriculture to the Ministry of Defense. But then again, who knows how to handle beef better than the military? And the agriculture CS, uh, Peter Munya, has defended the move, saying that either way, the military has been uh, the Kenya Meat Commission's biggest customer, confirming the claims by haters that kutoka kitambo, ngombe zimekuwa zikingia jeshi kwa wingi. In other circles, people now think they understand why mtu lazima angaliwe kama akona menoyote before apewe job uko. Na saizi mtani wezi potea alafu urudi kama umenona. Ya mi mtu wezi niabia kitu uja mani kama aliigia jeshi. Eh? Mi personally kwanza na hurumia supply mwenye Kenya Meat Commission ilikuwa na deni yake before ihamishwe. Najua wakati walikuwa kwa agriculture ugewatisha tisha kidogo uwalete juu alafu wakulipe deni yako. Wewe sasa unaweza perekana na KDF na nyama and the complaints. Ah usiingie hiyo butchery ni ya jeshi. We don't ask you every day nyama gumu. Now we have a great show lined up for you. Our guest for this episode is one of the wittiest women I know. She has had countless appearances on the trend. She even hosted the show for a while, but now she works for BBC. Shiro Morioki is in the house. Hi. I also have some great vibes from Telcom Kenya. Kama kawaida, maze usi waiji patana pressure ya data bundles. Na tunaimba hapa mambo ya affordable data bundle packages kila wiki. I'll tell you more about that in a bit. I also have 2,000 bob worth of Telcom airtime na jistia kukupatia. Stand by for details ya vile uneza ipata. But first, this week, stakeholders in the Ministry of Education held talks uh, concerning the reopening of schools in October. But according to the Kenya National Union of Teachers, KNUT Secretary General uh, Wilson Sosion, schools are not even ready to reopen in January. Education remains underfunded and we don't think if at the rate in which the sector is moving, the country and schools will not be ready for resumption in January. That's the truth. Now, this argument by Socion holds water on different fronts. One, most schools have been turned into rental houses and by law, ukitaka kuwamisha mtu, Kwa nyumba yako lazima mpatie ama unafa mpatie notice ya kama three months. We are already in October. Now do the math. And by the come to think of it, if we are already in October, why are students going, what are, what are students going to do in school for two months only? Keep in mind, the first month after opening is always set to discuss how the holiday was. Na hizo ni holidays za kawaida, one month, three weeks. He sasa wanatoka vacation. And there's a proposal uh, to customize exams to cover up to form three work for form fours. Hiyo ni moto. Panga line. Eh, one plus one, two. Aya, we unaeda Maseno University. Aya, next. One plus one, three. We ni kama utaigia jeshi. Now, but why would the government suggest that students go to school for two months in a year? Unless the goal is to give all Kenyan students a taste of what it's like to do a course at the University of Nairobi. Unajua yuwe napa kuna mtu wanapiga diploma yake na miaka nane safi. GMA strike. The good news is that the government has set aside billions of shillings uh, towards the preparedness for the resumption of normal school curriculum. But despite that, there are people who are still concerned about whether social distancing can be achieved in schools. Mtu atawezaje kununuwa KDF kwa school canteen ukiwa 1.5 meters away. That will kill the vibe. But then again, there's a way to ensure proper social distancing in school. All students to go back in, uh, to school, but the only subjects is chemistry, maths, and physics. Mbaka corona ishe. You do not need to force social distancing in any of these subjects. It comes naturally. Mtu wakuanza kipata 40%, wapili na kuanga na 19 and a half. Show me a better way to execute social distancing. Now, we recently had our content creator Chebet Rono on the show, but we could not finish the interview because alipata anxiety attack in the middle of the interview. He anxiety attack ili come after I asked about the sacrifices she's ever made for another human being. Na wewe unasema umelipia msire, mm. alafu? Na nikamblua tu, ume clown kubali chukua hizi your clown uniform, nikaiva, because... What was I doing? Like, ata nikijuliza, au msi hako haini jenga, hako haini saidia, I don't know why. I, can we, like, stop a bit? Ah, twenty late. It's okay, it's okay. late. So, this is a wicked edition. No one can judge you. No, as in for you, can we actually stop? Like, I have an anxiety attack. Now, Shiro Morioki lit up the internet recently when she tweeted about a girl carrying a pan to her boyfriend's house to make chapatis. Miu kinuliza, that's the literal definition of made with love. But now, 
in a world where we have a long-running debate about the boundaries of how much you can do in a relationship before dowry or before marriage, kwanza history ya dem kufuli ya chaliyake. Who better to break this conversation down than one Shiro Morioki? Aki, we are back with her on the other end of this short commercial break. La plata niyali beba pan. We'll find out. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Leo tunata kujua how much people are willing to do for love. Ama what people have done for love. And our guest Leo ni one of the wittiest women I have ever met, I have ever known. Shiro Morioki, ladies and gentlemen. Karibu sana. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. This, hey, man. Being back here is nostalgia. I love it. Eh? Not you, much has changed, but in other ways, a lot has changed. Them yeah. days, Larry days. Uh, them days, eh? yes. Karibu sana. Asante uli, sana. Uli, uli chokoza sana. Uli chokoza sana <laughs> na story ya. Kadema. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> I was Kadema. young and foolish then. <laughs> no, that was you. <laughs> As you know, this story is coming from, for those who don't know, Shiro Alisema, she tweeted something about a lady carrying a pan for a handbag to go cook chapos for the boyfriend. That was you. No! But okay. I've done foolish things, though. What's the foolishest thing you've ever seen? Me, by then, I'd be like, I'm going to go to the So... And I ironed. So that's a bad thing. That's not crazy. That's being, in it, I'm going to wife material. I... Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> you know, the thing is, and this is something I noticed a lot when I was in campus. You see, I'm not saying that there's something wrong with doing things for I the know. person you love because I'm in a very committed relationship right now and I'm doing all those things. You know, then I cook, I clean. However, me by then we like campus kusoma. But the thing that I noticed with girls in campus, mpaka babes used to skip class. Uh-huh. Babes used to, you know, your your boyfriend is in class and you're in the same class, but yes. you you're back at his hostel ukimfuli and go. Alajuana skia pua sana kio na una muita babes bado. By babes I mean girls. In fact, I should just use the proper English and not come here with colloquialisms and okay, okay. yeah. Yes. So th that, those are the things girls used to do, and I did it myself. When that time I was ironing, I was supposed to be in class. That was a foolishness. Oh, not like uh, doing it is wrong, at washing uh, CG clothes for someone is wrong. When, as in, in it, what's wrong is not doing what you're supposed you're, to do. You're not do putting yourself life. as a priority. You've put everyone in front, in, before yourself as a priority. And please remember, umepelekwa campus, na wazazi or your family, kusoma. But unajua, someone would argue, that unonezi pitu zanyi umenda campus kufanya. Nizile vitu watu walikuwa nafunzwa traditionally, kitambo, uh, sa wei umenda kuzilan campus. People I also learn witchcraft traditionally, but no one is going to learn it in campus. Uh, <laughs> to okay. be the traditional healing na, na class. Na udem, udem wa pan, huwa kubeba pan, kuenda kupikia chali yake cha parties. W why do you find that crazy? You see sacrifice that, nituaji, that's love. You know, be first, why doesn't that guy have a pan? <laughs> <laughs> but then go make chapels. <laughs> Make them. <laughs> but I must say, bring my own equipment. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, by the way, when you say it like that, it brings out another image. Yeah? Because it's not the first time. It's mm. not day one. You could have a paniaki and a habitually every weekend. I love when you are laughing. And then I tell you, boys. Haski kitu ukiona dem akiteseka first because Hashid because apparently the plan was yes. weekend she's going to sleep over at the guys hostels ndio yes. so ame toka kwa pan na kwake na pan she goes to class with that pan in her bag the whole day people are just hearing the clinking and clanking of utensils unatoa full scraps unasikia pingli ni pan na zinakuangatu wakati ude mako and wafu na shindo what kind of pan it was nizi nonstick za ama it was those you know the old ones the black ones ones that are flat so uko tizi the whole day and this boy cannot be bothered to by the way please go make chapatis for those even though he doesn't marry you at least you'll be a very good chapati maker now I like that you say that even if he doesn't marry you and chances are he will not because this this is the thing that also I think young girls need to understand. Uh -huh. When you show your, yourself or you show this dude that you're willing to do anything for him, imagine Hakuna Yashimapo. Guys like having to work. Work, just, and this is something that a lot of men have told me. Just 
the thrill of the chase. Yes. Lakini we, you're the man. You yes. don't have to buy a pan. I'm yes. sure there is someone who's texting you. Do you have a pan? Uh, uh, <laughs> I do, I do. Because that is I maybe do. someone is that no, texting. No, no, I do. On Ongea stories, a pan, I love where you are. No pan intended. <laughs> You so, should be so ashamed of yourself. I you? am, I am. But since <laughs> you said something, like, it's not a guarantee that someone will marry you even after doing all that. Yeah. So, Basi, how much, um, how much are people allowed to do, especially for the ladies, when in a relationship before marriage, Basi? You see, the thing is, I can't make these a blanket statement as to what you should do because there are chicks who went and did wife material things for their boyfriends. Mm -hmm. And then at, after campus, this guy married you. I think okay. what the rule of thumb should be: what is what? Are you, what are you getting? Are you getting from this relationship as much as you're giving? Ah, that you know, means the relationship ni madeni. Like what I do. No, see, deni. But you see, the thing is, even you, I'm sure you'll not be comfortable in a relationship where you're the one who's paying for everything. Mm -hmm. This chick, you've never seen. You don't even know if her clothes have pockets. Because she's never entered her pocket. <laughs> to, uh -huh. or she, as in, she can't even feel free to come to a date without a handbag. Because that handbag, what is it carrying? Yeah. Clearly okay. not her wallet. So even you don't feel good. And I've seen it so many times online, guys feeling exploited. Because financially, you're the one who's carrying this girl. And you're both in campus. You're both not financially independent. But she still gets money from her parents and from you. So, of course, if, if a relationship, you know, exploitation can happen on both sides. Eh? Yes, yes. The girl can exploit you. You're buying her we worth 15,000 shillings, and that 15,000 shillings is your help. No menda kunu It doesn't alafu, make alafu, any sense. Kuache, so yeah, and she'll is. still leave you and go with that nice wig to someone else. See, in that same tweet I mentioned, there's a chick who went from a daraka to Kasarani with a mop. Not a duster. You know, a duster, you can fold it quietly in your bag. And yeah, no, yeah, you're yeah. crossing town looking like a prophet from the Old Testament. <laughs> so, unambia nini watu when you're coming back home with a wet mop? So, you know, could love in a unique way. As in, this guy, ata kama ata kuwacha, they always remember. No, the thing is, the thing that makes me ask a few questions is, you, you're just chilling in your house. You're seeing this girl every weekend she's coming with a mop and going back with a mop. You don't think, okay, fine, yeah, I'm really enjoying having my house clean. See, I just buy this girl a mop. See, probably the guy was testing her patience. Why are we the ones always to sit these examinations? Which exams do guys sit? They do, they do. Come Which on, one? you can afford, uh, see, new one, new one, security, one, mm. uh, if someone can protect you. Uh, but uh, financial if, security PIR. Yeah, someone, but then when, when we're you? asking for security, we can protect you. Am I expecting you to come to the club with a bow and arrows? <laughs> Will I bring gangsters to your house to hmm. see whether you will fight them? Hmm. Okay. No! Okay. But Sasa Basi, in terms of uh, what someone owes you, the threshold, yeah, someone... Uh, come on, Nini Basi, I don't like threshold. the word owing, though, because... It is. I don't if like owing did. because that leads to feelings of entitlement on both sides, where I feel I'm entitled to your money, I feel I'm entitled to your time, I feel I'm entitled... But there's, like a, there's a threshold, eh? of human decency, basic decency. For instance, King Ori, if you're in campus and you're in the same class with your girlfriend and you feel very comfortable watching this girl skip class to do your chores, there's something wrong. If you truly care about this person, you'd care for them to get their education the same way you're there to get your education. Come on, at a room and you guys are in the same class. No way would Peter Campus as she's feeling because she's washing your clothes. Is that love? <clears throat> Depends. On? On the person, not me. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Not no, no. you, exactly. No, no, not me. Yeah, because person... you, you have human decency, and that's, that, that, that is where I, we have to draw the line. Is there human decency? You know, we're not asking you to cross oceans by this girl, like her. So you, not, none of those things. Human decency. Treat people the way you'd like to be treated. That's it. Basic and you see when concept. people call us, you know, you feminists, you feminists. And imagine all we, all we women are asking is, imagine treat us how you'd like to be treated. That's it. Imagine it's, it's not a scientific concept. Evo <laughs> too. Treat us how you'd like to be treated. Evo <laughs> too. Uh, we, had, we had Rono on the show, Chebet Rono. Who I love. Uh, She's so fun. Eh, Maze. But she couldn't actually finish the interview because she got an anxiety attack. Oh. Kati kati ya show. Mm. Tulikuwa tumemuliza swali like uh, the craziest things uh, she's ever done. 
Maget. Mm. And then she <coughs> akaenda akasema at she paid rent for someone for 3 months. Kabla hiyo story ishe anxiety attack ikakamu. Oi. Cuz eh, chances are maybe waliachana na huyo mtu. Maget. Yeah. Are there things that we, we personally you've ever done is before you are like other than two years are ku for daro like financial like, support yeah, I've done it. Wana. I've done it but it's because I knew what I was getting back in that relationship. Oh he was supporting me in other ways. And So it's a trade, ama? And you know when you call it a trade when you think about it interpersonal relationships are all about trade. Imagine me I'm not Jesus Christ. Ni <laughs> biashara. <laughs> It's not, not, I wouldn't call it be a shara, but if you're in a relationship with someone, it's not even just like um, a romantic relationship. Okay. Even friends. There's a point at which, like, if you're in a friendship with someone, yeah. and you, you're there for them, you're being a good friend to them, but then you, and you need them, how are you? See, when you start to be thinking that relationship, when human beings be can't like, love each other unconditionally, akuna terms and conditions. Neither, I think the only person, the only people who love me unconditionally are my parents, my mom and my late dad. That's it. And Jesus. <laughs> I'm not going to people also manage your expectations, but there are times at which when you have to ask yourself, even this friendship, let's even stop talking about boyfriend and girlfriend, or romantic relationships in whatever form they come. Yes. Even let's talk about basic friendships. I'm sure at all women friendship, when you start thinking, we want to say, but on a day, kuna kuna hizo expectations za ubeste na expectations za relationship that's why in a relationship they different? talk about more than friends you guys are more than friends exactly. you can actually in most relationships when semanga someone has to love some the other person more than kuna mtu mmoja anapendwa kushinda yeah that's a, that's advice that you were given as girls at ah. don't always marry someone who loves you more than you love them and i think not that that's advice think, if someone was cheated yeah you see yeah, we, that, i think that's really dangerous advice because kwa your situation yeah. all you, you're holding back kuona kama huyu mtu atakuumit at 70% ona <laughs> so in you find a situation kingori has been told at yes. yeah, you make sure the girl loves you more me have been told make sure the guy loves you more so we are there waiting to be loved more you used to there uh. like little mice <laughs> <laughs> waiting yeah. to see what's going to happen i mean that makes no sense bas kuna tena story ya you, you mentioned something when we spoke earlier, Ukasema, the things I have done to be loved. That's a very interesting statement. Na vitu madem o ufanya, vitu zenye atawe ukaivi unajiambianga tu, I'm doing this to be loved. I'm doing this to impress the other yeah. person. Kuna hizo zenye nini? You know, like, um, those, when I was in high school, there was this girl... Well, I'm not going to say with school or whether even we're in the same class because yeah. people can start uh, yes, connecting, doing joining the dots. Yeah, and I'm not going to do that to anyone. But I remember that this person, this girl was dating someone who kept telling her that she was overweight and she needed to lose weight. And she wasn't. Eh? She was actually quite slim, but apparently he likes skinny girls. Oh, okay. So she had to... At some point, she said something like a kayamba when she walked because you know, the bones were rattling. She lost all of the weight... For, for life. Doing all these like diet pills when you start finding yourself doing unhealthy things, and then also there's a thing that I'll ask girls do where you find a guy being a certain way, and then you decide that you want to give him a, a makeover physically, emotionally, personality wise, but you found him like this. Why, what miracles are you expecting? It's the same thing when a man will meet a girl and then. And I took Asana that she's not changing. But you found me like this. Ah, okay. This is what you like. <laughs> you found me like this. The right, but then, person, the right person is technically the person who loves you the way you are. Exactly. I argued with someone, Kabisa, Kabisa, about makeup. Like, why do women apply makeup? Because she was like, we don't apply makeup for men. We don't it's apply makeup. To... Oh, really? It's, it's really not for you. You can win that debate. Yes. Sure. Let me tell you, I care more about what other women think of me than what men think of me. Imagine. I don't think you can win that debate. Yes. It is not for you. It is not for you. And then the men, the thing that I find that I find hilarious is when men say, it's fraud. It's fraud. I feel cheated. Which woman do you know that was born with golden eyelids? Hmm. How, how, so you honestly think that when you met me at the club and I had purple and gold, you believe that's how I came out 
into the world. <laughs> so that now you can cry fraud when you saw me wiping it. No! Oh no! You mean she doesn't have purple lips? Mm. So Basi, no. if you don't do it for men, uh, but I'm not going to go out. There's no one, there no, those nasty girls who will judge me are not in my house. Yeah, a woman is a woman's a woman is a woman's enemy. No, but, for real. That, that's a whole other debate that we're going to get, get into. But yeah, I think a human is a human's worst enemy. It doesn't have to be gendered. I'm sure even you, which is uh, there's a guy who's cut you off at the knees, but no one makes it a gender thing. No, no, no. So let's to go, so. To go all the time we need for a debate. <laughs> time here we can edition in a kidogo sana, but we're extending this conversation, <laughs> conversation to Nation FM on Monday, <laughs> on Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. Uko sure to win your debate. Oh, I got this. I got this. Ah, yeah, <laughs> Tune in to Nation FM on 96.3, Pale Monday, from 10 to 11. Who can win this debate? <laughs> That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. King Ori.